Juventus are in the mud. And I'm going to rebuild them through three seasons with transfers, with ruthless tactics, the works. Come on. That's it, all confirmed. Now, the first problem you've got if you take on this Juventus challenge is the media don't care what's been going on in real life. They still think you should be finishing first. Have they seen the squad? Now, the best 11 that it gives you, initially, all looks great there. Look at that team. You've got Chiesa, Vlahovic, Di Maria. I even forgot he was there. You've got Pogba as well, Locatelli. What's not to love? But from day one, you have a crippling injury list. McKenney, who's going to be a starter in midfield, three weeks. That's not a problem. Di Maria, two months. Now it's starting to build. Chiesa, three to four months. Are you having a laugh? And Pogba, three to four months. Some big players there already out. And once you take that into consideration, the squad is not actually very big. You've got an absolute rake of players away on loan, some of which should not be on loan. I mean, I would have Kulusevski right now. Yes, please. Now, when you start an FM, you can't go straight to squad player because you need to have a tactic set up first. So we need to go back to the squad and have a little think about what we're going to do. Now, look, it's not all bad at UV, despite what's been going on in real life. Not to mention where they sit in the league. It's not pretty, is it? But we have players we can build a squad around, and obviously we've got to build a squad around Dusan Vlahovic. Now we've got ourselves a complete forward, and he's 22, so for the next three to five years, we don't need a striker, an elite striker, because we've got one. Looking at the attributes, there's not a lot that he can't do, and I really like pretty much all of his player traits, even his argues with officials. You tell him, mate. When Federico gets back from injury, again, he's at a great age, he's only 24, great player traits, and he can play loads of positions. And I've got a couple of formations in mind I'd like to use, and he can adapt to both of them. Locatelli is on loan, but is a permanent move at the end of the season, and he's another one we can use. You can use him in the pivot. He's, again, a great age at 24. Those three players are going to be the nucleus of what we're going to build. Now, in and around those three players, we've got a lot of experience that we can use for maybe one or two seasons, but the will need replaced, and we'll get onto the squad planner, and we can see where we can do that. For example, Cadrado, what a wingback he is, but he's now 34. Now, his physicals are great, but they're going to start declining, so we'll have to keep a replacement for him in mind. And also, at centre-back, we've got Benucci, who's 35 now. His physicals are great still, but the acceleration pace has never been a strong point, and that's going to get worse as well. So we're going to need a centre-back as well. We've had a good look at the squad. I think it's got potential. We have a couple of key places to tweak it, but let's get on to the tactic or tactics that we're going to try and work this team into. So I'd like to use a 4-3-3. It's a safe formation, you might say, but the players that Juve have got currently, that's going to help us build something pretty special, I think. Rolls are not sold on yet. We might tweak a few, but for now, that looks pretty good. Now, the initial problem I said about the injuries we've got at the start, let me show you this. So if I've got a quick pick, i just put pick without restriction, the best 11. Bang, in it goes. But look down the side there. You've got one, two, three, four, five of our alleged best 11 are not available from the get-go. So we're going to have to adapt a bit, but back into the team. I love the wing-backs in Quadrado and Sandro, but Sandro, like Quadrado, is 31 now. So they're two positions we're going to look to get replacements for. Great couple of centre-backs in Bonucci and Bremer. In fact, if that good on the ball, I may even bring in a ball-playing defender. We'll see how the friendlies go. We've got Locatelli in that pivot. Not completely sold in the DLP role. I might make him a bit more defensive. This role here for Pogba, I think, is perfect for him. Mazzala on attack, so he can roam into these positions here. And when you pair him with the box-to-box -box of McKenney up and down, and Di Maria one side, Chiesa the other, all in behind Vlahovic, that's a pretty solid 11. Pretty solid 11, but there are going to have to be changes. There's Cadrado, there's Sandro, there's Bonucci, there's Di Maria, all getting old, and we can't really rely on Manzala Pogba, because even though he's only 29, his injury record is abysmal. By the way, I forgot about the second tactic. You can see how the second tactic will work. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Chiesa one side, Cadrado the other, the three centre backs, and we've got a double pivot in there. So that's another option we're going to use. But for now, it's time to see what we did in the transfer market. We've identified what we need. I don't know if we'll get them all in. First off, the budget is not great, really, is it? We've only got 15 million, and the wage budget is diced. I don't know what to do here. We're going to have to cash in on some players, I think. I've transfer listed Danny Lowe. He is 30 years old now, and if I can get 12 to 13 million, I'd gladly take it. And there's some big clubs after him. I'll bang Rabio on the list as well. If I get 10 million for him, I'd be happy. Get that wage off our wage bill. 
we've set our scout set up off anywhere we've got them looking for wing backs either side the center back and two attacking wide men fingers crossed rakes of players are out of contract and i'm not gonna renew any of these which might be quite shocking but i'm just gonna see what's going on all this planning for the future is all well and good but we have one major problem in season one and it's this, the club vision of the board. We're going to do very well not to get sacked here, reach the last stages of the Champions League, win Serie A, challenge for the Coppa Italia. Have they seen my injuries? Now, having panicked a bit, I thought, let's have a look who's out on loan. And the list is substantial. Look at that. The good news is that some of them can definitely be part of our future. The first is Dennis Zakaria. Now, he is a good option to play in any one of these three roles. The problem may be, though, that he does have an agreement with Chelsea. They have the option of 24 million. I just hope they don't take it. Luca Pellegrini, I see, is a really good option for our future left back. He's only 23. He's on loan at Frankfurt at the minute, so he's going to be playing at a good level. He's due back at the end of the season. Same for Nicola Ravella. He's on loan at Monza, so he's going to be in our league. We'll be able to see how he develops. He's only 20. Good all-round midfielder. So this may save us a bit of money. So I know now I've got some players coming in at the end of the season. I just need to worry about this blooming season. Three days later. You join us in November at the World Cup break, and it's been a busy time in transfers. Check it out. I managed to get Rabiot off the wage bill. He went to Man United for 15 million. Exactly what I wanted. Also out the door is Danilo, he's gone to Spurs, another decent amount of money, 13.75. For a 31 year old, well happy with that. So two out, bringing us in about 27 million, two of the experienced heads we wanted out. I've managed to bring in four new players, check these boys out. First off, we needed someone to follow in Quadrado's footsteps and we've gone for Dodo. He's unhappy at the minute because he can't get past Quadrado, but he's one for the future. He didn't cost as much money either, cost around 16 million. I think you'll see for that yeah pretty decent and the other wing back we wanted cover for Sandro what we've ended up with is a starter in Di Marco came in from Inter on loan permanent signing for 13 million at the end of the season delighted the long-term replacement for Bonucci is Goncalo Inacio from Sporting I used him in the beta he was great last year he's only 21 what a signing he is he's cost us a bit of money with installments it's going to be 25 million but what a signing for the future. And the last man in, the long-term replacement for Angel Di Maria, Nicolas Gonzalez. He came in from Fiorentina. Great all-round player, can play a couple of roles, and it didn't cost too much. 22 million, but 24 years old, he's the oldest of the guys we've brought in. The future's looking good. Four players in, the oldest one at 24, right in the remit that we wanted to build this squad. Now, we've got to get through this season now, because it's been pretty tough. And remember, the board wants to win the league. As it sits at the World Cup break, we sit in third. We've lost three games. We've actually just lost our last two to Verona and Roma. Not sure what's happened, but we're doing okay. We're only three points off the top. If we look at it in a bit more detail, you can see we sit third. We've scored the most goals in Serie A, but we've conceded 17. So that's our Achilles heel at the minute. We're scoring goals, we're just conceding too many. Mostly used the 4-3-3. It's a pretty aggressive one with limited team instructions, but we haven't had Pogba for much of the season or Chiesa. So now they're back fit and firing I expect a decent second half to the season after Christmas speaking of Christmas we will be in January and we've got 10 million for the transfer budget we could probably make a couple of more additions with that maybe loans with a view to permanence we'll have to see but there's definitely positions we can use Champions League was a great success we won five out of six the one we lost was when we rested our players because we stormed it so we've qualified top we'll wait to see who we draw in the next round following the winter break the results were good Getting through the Coppa Italia, undefeated in the league. Problems persisted at the back, losing 4-3 to Bologna and the same scoreline to Lazio. We had to change the tactic. We played most of the season with a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-4, but we conceded them way too many goals. Despite finishing top of our group, we only went and drew Bloom and Bayern. I am disgusted with it. With new tactic in play, we started amazingly. Paredes banged us ahead. We went 3-2 up late on, through a bit of a scrappy goal from Blavahovic. And then right after death, this happened. First leg, 3-3, free, free, great performance. And then the second leg happened, just watch this.
The game ended 4-5 and we go out 7-8. Unreal. After that match, we went on a great run, including knocking Inter out of the Coppa Italia semi-final. But the league situation... Have you seen a tighter league table than that? Six teams in with a chance of winning it, with five games to go. For us sitting in third, goal scoring was never the problem. 72 goals and we've conceded 36. That was the big issue. With two games to go, we were still in the title race. Then an absolute howler from Bonucci against Bologna of all teams. For Orsolini, we lose 1-0. We can't win the title. In fact, after an injury-ravaged season, we finished fourth. We get the Champions League, but the board weren't too pleased. Maybe you're expecting me to say I got sacked. But there was a redeeming feature of the season. After knocking Inter out the semi-final, we played Milan in the final of the Coppa Italia and the boys dominated the match, winning 2-1. So we get some silverware in our season one of the Juventus rebuild. Quite happy with that, you know. All the injuries, all the upheaval, I'm okay with a Champions League finish and a Coppa Italia and a really unlucky exit from the Champions League. New signings were class, let's have a look. DeMarco will be our first choice left back next season. I want more from him, he got caught out a few times in defence but that was probably due to the old tactic. Dodo was very much back up for Quadrado. Lovely first season for Inaccio, he will be starting next season because we are binning Bonucci off. But the standout was Nicolas Gonzalez, not a regular but had a great season. 31 appearances, 11 goals, 7 assists. He's going to be a top-class player, and I love that he can play all three positions up here. So fourth place in Serie A gets to the Champions League for next season, and that's all important money. Knocked out ruthlessly by Bayern Munich in the Champions League and in Coppa Italia, so we got a trophy. So, next season. So what I like to do at the end of the season is, if I've got my tactic I'm settled for next season, which I'm settled with, I've taken out players that aren't going to be there next season that we want to replace. We need a striker to go next to Blahovic. We need a new right wing back because Quadrado's gone and I don't think Dodo's quite ready yet. And possibly a new keeper. You might be surprised to see Pogba remains, but when I switched him to Segunde, he had a really good season. Let's have a look. 29 appearances, 6 goals. He was a constant threat with them pinging balls. So Pogba stays. The other man who stays is Di Maria. Switching him to wide playmaker. He was class, not as much running for him, just concentrating on his passing and his flair. He stays for one more season. But we've still got a big rebuild to do because the starting 11 needs about three and the squad needs more. If you take a look at the bench options I've got down here, Karidas, who is on loan, he stays. That's agreed, that's agreed already, he stays. Kulusevski is on loan at Tottenham at the minute and they haven't bid for him yet, so he could be coming back and that would be huge. Luca Pellegrini comes back, he's going to be the backup to DiMarco. The team's starting to look nice now. Zakaria could also come back as another body in central midfield because Chelsea have not yet bid for him, so that's another option on the table. Ravella comes back as one for the future, so midfield looks solid. The only place we're really lacking is probably up front. We've got Moise Keane, but I need someone of a higher quality than him to partner Blahovic. So the rebuild of Juve rolls on. So you've seen the positions I need, namely a striker, a right wing back, a goalkeeper, who do you think we should get? We've got about 30 million, that's going to go up a little bit. So there's a bit of wiggle room. Let me know in the comments who you think we should go for. Season two, we've got to go for the title this time. We've got to go for the title. We're probably looking to stay in the job with that Coppa Italia win. We need the title. See you soon.